Oh, God. Oh, Christ. Guys, hey, welcome back to the show. I'm Arun Brown. Welcome back to our show. Well, guys, anyway, I was watching uh, my favorite YouTube channel, which is called Valuetainment, where I like to watch it because I'm like, is this a telemarketing call? Is this a YouTube ad? Or is this a show? And then I try to figure it out. And uh, the guy actually said something interesting, and I'll play that for you right now. Fox could come up right now and say, listen, we are the King Kongs today. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Number one comedy, Greg Gutfield is doubling Kimmel and Fallon combined. Mm -hmm. Number one comedy, Greg Gutfield is doubling Kimmel and Fallon combined. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's data. They'll say that. So I heard that bit about Greg Gutfield, and I was like, is that true? Is that true? Is that true? Is that true? Is Greg Gutfield the king of late night now? This was a big, used to be a big thing. Who's the king of late night? Is Greg Gutfield on Fox News the king? Is he the... Sniffing. Of late night? Is he the... You're a moron. Of late night? With 2.5 million viewers, Fox News channel Gutfield... Oh, yeah, it's an like exclamation. Gutfield! 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 Beats every show in late night TV. Uh, and this was published in late 2022. Wow. Well, suck on this. With 2.494 million total viewers and 396,000 viewers in the key demographic group of adults 25 to 54. Gutfield! Beat not just everything else on cable, but the high-profile broadcast network's late-night shows as well. So he beat Stephen Colbert. Beat Steve Colbert, I call him. And remember, I need the permission slips for this week's trip to Good Time Island. Where's your permission slip? Shut your dirty little mouth! Followed by 1.28 million for The Tonight Show. Is that, uh, who's that? Is that dude, fat Jimmy Fallon? And Jimmy Kimmel has even less. Oh, wow. Sniffing. That's right, guys. There is a new king of late night comedy, and it's Greg Gutston. What is the guy's name? Greg Gutfield. Gutfield! So, guys, there was a time long ago called the 1990s, okay? During this time, feudalism was still in place. It was a time of knights of the round table. And Jon Snow roamed the earth. Looking for his girlfriend. Uh, also making their uh, television debut here in North America, Sonic Youth. Yeah. Who? For the big grand finale, let's go back out to 53rd Street, and we're going to heave... Oh, it's the big melon toss. Here we go. Anytime you kids are ready... Out of the seventh floor of the Ed Sullivan Theater building, okay. a variety of weak old okay. melons. There we go. Down. Oh my God! It's also, looks like Letterman was like 40 years ahead of TikTok on a very important TikTok type of video. Sniffing. Check this out. Late night viewership today is nowhere near the massive nightly audience that Jay Leno and David Letterman were getting in the 1990s. Leno's Tonight Show reportedly drew over twice as, ma as many people. Greg, Gutfeld, G Greg Gutston is the top with what, like 2.5, 2.3? 5.8 million viewers for Jay Leno and then 4.7 million for Letterman. So the, the highest guy gets half. So yeah, tobacco bowl Patty B over there. Greg Gutfield is definitely the king, crowning him the king of a thing that nobody wants anymore but there's more than one kind of woke oh, if you okay. define woke it's someone who's awake perhaps with an angrier consciousness okay of course they have to share this newfound rage with everyone as they seek to infect every crevice of society with their unbridled ignorance oh okay the woke right. had a few good years now to undo society attacking traditional <laughs> family structures societal safety and security Who? but like jamie lissow at his own home <laughs> it's no longer welcome who's that <laughs> Who's that guy? <laughs> this is a fun comedy show. Okay, here we go. This is the best example of what watching this show is like. Here we go. They also say men can compete against your daughters in sports. Oh, no. But this apparently only goes one way. Trans women can swim and wrestle, but good luck seeing trans men in the NBA. Follow the money and the trans experiment dries up like my elbows in January. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> look... Meanwhile, look at the okay. biological man who... Just put a laugh track. Just put a laugh track in there. Here we go. Let's try, let's try that one again. But good luck seeing trans men in the NBA. Follow the money and the trans experiment dries up like my elbows in January. <laughs> Meanwhile, look, 
Meanwhile, look at the biological. The Greg Gutston program is a very eerie show to watch because it's like, it's like the shell. It's like the husk of a, of a late night comedy show. You know, it's like under the skin or something like an alien took on the form, <laughs> took on the body of a, the, took on the likeness, some say, of a late night comedy show. And it's just kind of like, and it's just watching humans trying to learn what they do. One of the complaints I always remember hearing is like, oh, these late night talk shows, now they just talk about political stuff. Just make it funny. Just make it funny, you know? And the Greg Gutfield show is just like, it's just like Republican Party talking points with like, at the last minute, they're like, oh, this should be a joke. And they like tack a joke onto it. Meaning you have no idea that a teacher fresh out of college who's <laughs> soaked in oppression lingo and hair dye yeah. can imprint his, hers, them, theys on your kids and parents <laughs> okay. shall not be informed. Right to privacy is code for don't tell mom and dad that for dodgeball, we now throw <laughs> Wow. Which might be fun, actually. I'm now non-binary, and you are too. I believe the pe planet is about to die, and so shall you. I have more nose rings than a shower curtain. So shall you. I have more face piercings than someone who tried to commit suicide with buckshot. Snorted. <laughs> Don't do me. Oh, Greg, stop. Don't do me like that. I'm going to die laughing. Uh. <coughs> oh, I don't know if I'm vibing with the new king of late night, you know. It might be a real moral problem for me if uh, the gut-filled program, they were, you know, throwing birthday cakes off of overpasses or just doing non-political, stupid late night stuff, you know. You know, Greg Gutfield, he poops his pants and then he goes into a CVS, you know, and they sees how long it takes for him to get kicked out. I'd be like, Ooh, okay, okay. Okay, guys, come on. Let's give Greg another chance here, okay? Here we go. It transfers a mind rise in a mind virus. That's okay. It's okay, Greg. Keep going. From one infected person to another. Okay. And the newly infected has no immune system for it because it is a child. Okay. But there is an effective booster for it. It's called an angry mom, and it's perfect for fighting the wokeness. Uh huh. True. Moms might make you cringe, but that's what moms do. But All so right. do third graders being forced to look at a drag queen suspicious package. So this new woke. <laughs> I, think, I think that was a joke there. <laughs> I think, oh, late night. I, you know, I had a long day. I just want to tune in. None of this crap, you know. I just want to tune in and be pissed off more. I've been watching Fox News all day and I'm adequately pissed off. Now I would like to relax a little bit, watch some late night, <laughs> watch a little bit of late night and to be pissed off in a different way. With a different aesthetic. Also, the other thing about, like, 90s Letterman and Conan O'Brien is that they had really good guests. They had really good musical guests, too. Like, who's Greg Who's Greg Gutstein going to have on? Oh, uh, now, ladies and gentlemen, performing a new song from his new album, Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan, I guess. Okay, never mind. I did find a musical guest. Here we go. Did you know that I know? Yeah! And now, ladies and gentlemen, performing a new thing from his new album, Jordan T. Squeederman. Jordy, Jordan Peterson and the Dra <laughs> Jordan Peterson and the Dragons of Chaos. That's his band. That's Jordan Peterson's band. A picket fence. White has good points, but don't sit on her. Fox News <laughs> contributor, Cat Tim. Okay, the, the Timster, the Timster. Guys, God damn you, will you listen to me for once in your life, please? Every great late night host had a, a, a sidekick, you know? Ed McMahon. You are correct, sir, yes. The great co the great sidekicks, you know what I mean? Now add to the list, because there's a new king of late night, you idiots. Okay, so this is Greg Gutfield's Paul Schaefer, Cat Tim. Here we go. Story in five words. Uh -huh. Disney tells guests to behave. All right, Drew, I guess that the happiest place on earth. Not so happy. I, I, dude, if you think that's the happiest place on earth, I feel so sorry for you. <laughs> if you've never been happier. Got it. Okay. Thanks, Kat. Got it. Cat Timph is by far, by far, by far, 100 miles far, by far, the greatest Fox News personality because she has no business being on TV. <laughs> It's been a rough emotional news week, to put it mildly, with plenty of reason to feel gloomy about things. Yesterday okay. was National Smile Power Day. 
And on okay. the streets of New York, some people still had some reasons to smile. <laughs> So today is okay. National Smile Day. I don't really like people telling me what to do, so I was like, boo! You know, it's a real shame. It's a real shame that this is the king of late night because, you know, Conan O'Brien, David Letterman, especially Conan O'Brien, had these hilarious writers that would come up with weird stuff. Fox News, you know, I'm, I'm guessing Greg Gutfield is just like Rupert Murdoch is like writing these jokes himself or something. So we'll get, I'll, I'll, let me see if I can come up with some crap for free. Some late night type crap. Okay, there's a segment called Cat in the Hat, where Cat Timpf goes out in the streets of New York dressed like Cat in the Hat and sees how much alcohol she could drink. Or here's, oh, here's a really good one. Stray Cat. Cat Timpf has to be homeless for a month. That's off the dome right there, son. It's not supposed to be mean. It's just that's what late night's supposed to be. Messy, gross, weird. Not just these absolute snooze buttons. Sitting around. Sitting around talking about Christ knows what. <laughs> Vivek, welcome back to the show. So what do, you got to, what do you have to say to, like, the parents out there? Where do you stand huh? on all this? I'd say keep standing up. If you're a mom, if you're a parent, it's your kids, not the kids oh, who belong amazing. to the school. It's actually pretty Amazing sp- insight. Wow. <laughs> also so funny. <laughs> okay, here we go. Check this out. This show gets cl- so close. So close to being funny. Watch this. First, you, we, now, do you remember your family? Yeah. I, I, do. I, I, I have photos there, and there, sketches. There are like, is there some, is there outside of this building, so you, which you never leave? Right. You have pictures on your desk. Oh, it came so close. It came so close. This Fox and Friends guy, Greg Gutfield, is like, do you even remember your family? That could have been funny. Like, hey, you're old. You're too old to remember your family, or or oh, your deadbeat dad, or something. See, that could have been funny. But then he's immediately like, oh, because you're such a hard worker, sir. I'm going to suck around. It's because you're a too hard of a worker, sir. <laughs> okay, here we go. I watched like two hours of this show. And this, this is the funny, this is the one funny thing that I found. Here we go. Welcome back to this fine show. <laughs> there they it is. That's it. it. That's it. I kind of laughed at that. That's, so there we go. I went like this. <laughs> and I go, oh. Well, at least he's getting the relevant cultural figures on the show, right? He's so well-dressed, he makes salads jealous. Social scientist and YouTube host, Hotep Jesus. Oh, oh. Hotep Jesus, uh, okay. Hot, Hotep Jesus. Okay, okay. He's so hot, you could be my twin brother. <laughs> Co-host of Fox and Friends Weekend, Pete Hegseth. Who? Huh? I gotta hand it to him. When it came to getting the beat on China, he was first, and wow. he was almost always alone. Wow. That's a pretty big thing to get right, especially when all his naysayers got it wrong. He's like the one guy who said, you know, that Hindenburg doesn't look safe. I'll take a taxi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, t- sorry. Sorry, Greg. Sorry. Buckets of cum. Buckets of cum. Wipe your ass with them. Well, there we go, guys. Celebrating the new king of late night. He sounds like this. He goes like, wait, he goes like this. And then everybody goes. And then they go. Uber cars, Uber cars. That's in the Bible. That's how it sounds like. There's nothing we can do about it. Hope you guys are having a great week, and I hope that you take a doo doo pie. Take, take, take a doo doo pie. And you do some flushing toilets. Love you, and as always, bye, 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 bye. CK Louis. Oh, hey, guys. Guess what? You're not even getting the whole show. If you want every episode and a whole bunch of other sh**, subscribe on Patreon. Subscribe on Patreon for as little as two bones. Just click the stupid little link below the video in the comments. See, right there. There you go. Click it, and that, yep. When you become a patron for as little as two bones, you get the Tuesday, Thursday, patron-only episodes. Ah! You also get the weekly book oblega show where we talk about important books. The questions and comments thing where you can ask questions and make comments and all this crap. And the weekly behind-the-scenes show. All for less than the price of a rancid Charleston chew. And for only 25 putrid little dollars, you could become a producer. That's right, support the show and get your name up here. Look at these people. Look at these, these people, it make the show possible, okay? God.
I mean, without these beautiful people, this show goes straight into the dumpster. A rotten, you know, just wet, disgusting dumpster, you know, behind a restaurant. So it's, there's old milk in there. That's where this show ends up without these people. Is that what you want? Okay, I guess it's, okay. No, I guess it's what you want. I'll just leave. Nope, 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 it's done. It's too late. Okay, okay. Here we go. Here's the dump truck. Here's the dump truck come to pick up the show. This is what would happen with no producers. Thank you.